the Republicans are aware of this. They're aware of grassroots power. They're certainly aware of the fact that we had record voter turnout in 2020, leading to an unexpected outcome in states like Georgia. And so they're taking every effort they can. And in many ways, it mirrors what happened during the long rolling coup between November 2020 and the Capitol attack. Like first, Trump and his cronies tried just denying reality using propaganda when that didn't work. They went to the courts. They went to intimidating officials, threatening them with violence. That happened in Georgia. That was on tape. Uh, the January 6th committee and, and the DOJ has done absolutely nothing about that. And then finally, when all of that failed, when it failed in the Supreme Court, they went to citizen vigilante violence. They had operatives like Michael Flynn and Linwood and Roger Stone telling people, you can commit violence on our behalf and you will roam free. You will be fine. We will protect you. We're going to win. This is similar. You know, they are pawns. This is how they view Rittenhouse as well. This is how they view anyone who will come next. There's been a variety of outcomes for these very low-level people basically recruited off the internet through Linwood's Twitter account ranging from no sentence at all to light sentences to, I guess, for the QAnon shaman, the you know epitome of a scandal distracting from crime, he got 40 months, but they are aware of this. And so while we need to focus on these local elections, especially elections of judges, we also need protection for the elected officials that we have. You know, never forget that Roger Stone threatened to kill the judge in his trial, and he walked free, and nothing was done about that. The judge in the Manafort trial had to have personal security, armed security with him. The jury had to have security with them because they were all threatened. And then he gave Manafort a greatly reduced sentence than what was expected. Like the reason they're using these tactics is because they work and it's getting worse and worse, which is why agencies that can enforce accountability, that can put an end to this culture of threat instead of streamlining it and normalizing it need to act now.